Do what? What we got this morning. I hope we got a bunch of critters. We'll see. Mother Nature mm. hasn't been cooperating this past two weeks. So it's either been 70 degrees and raining or 15 degrees and everything froze up. Get seated up. I need some gloves. Here you go. You don't mind? Uh, I, I got some right here. Had a dirt hole here, briar patch, and the uh, lure was crow's blood. It was filled out here, and there's a little gap. Figured these animals were traveling, cutting the corner here. Spot. You got a fire break kind of runs this edge. Main road here and another fire break over there. It's been a good spot over the last couple of years. This is a uh, MB450. It's a little bit smaller trap than what I normally use, but. You just want to make sure it that trap's solid and don't wiggle if you hit it on any of the corners. If it's not solid, they're gonna know something's up, and get to digging at it. Or... Well, now it's gonna be trying to find some dry dirt. Let me get some dirt for you. Uh, dirt hole set. You got a hole right there I drilled with my drill and put bait in it. Happened to her, she ain't got it. Missing a tooth and missing a couple of them. Yeah, a little female. <laughs> State of Georgia's uh, it's legal for live market. They uh we sell them to a, they call it a fox pen, but we don't have any foxes, very many foxes anymore. So uh, I know a lot of states in the South 
except Alabama live markets legal but we uh, sell them to them and uh, the fox hunters run them This here, got a trough feeder over here, and I know those coons will be coming to it and eating the feed. Cat food and uh, tree pebbles. <laughs> look at your trap. That thing's, look at your trap, it's full of mud. Be still. Down south trappers make this ground up beaver. And I don't know what all's in it. Yeah. Male. Incredible. It's incredible. I love it. I love it. 